high-end AV compatible receiver with remote control. Yamaha AVR 1000. 159,800 yen. A large, luxurious AV compatible receiver that inherits the design of the A2000. Although it is AV compatible, it only supports the A of AV, that is, there are AV compatible receivers that simply change AUX to video, but this unit is truly AV compatible as it can also handle V. Actual weight 13.7 kilograms. With a ceiling panel, it looks better than the A1000. Both sides are walnut wood panels, each weighing 700 G. The bonnet is a thick iron plate with only the front edge made of wood, 1700 G, durable and hard to rattle. The bonnet is U-shaped and doubles as a side panel, but there is also a sturdy side panel that makes up the chassis, making it a three-layer structure. The power transformer is also attached to the side panel of the chassis. This is also unique. The core size of the transformer is 105 by 85 by 60 millimeters. There are two filter capacitors, 80V12000 μF 45X 80 mm. The heat sink is a 3 mm thick aluminum plate with 26 thin aluminum fins attached, and is a type that can be used for both left and right. Because the fins are thin and soft, the resonance frequency is low and the Q is low, so it is difficult to ring. The volume knob has an LED built-in, and the notch lights up red, so the volume position is clear even from a distance. However, it is a thin pressed plate and weighs only 20 G. The functionality is particularly extensive, with both the Phono and MC compatible, and in addition to the standard tuning up and down using a seesaw switch for both FM and AM tuners, there is also fine tuning using the same method, which continuously changes the last digit of the four-digit frequency display. There are also 16 preset stations. For AV surround, there is also a switch to make the mono signal pseudo-stereo. DNC automatically switches the high cut turnover depending on the input signal level, making it effective for noisy FM, AM, and cassettes. The tone control is also effective with a three-band system that includes mids. I used a spectrum analyzer to see what happens when you boost only the mids. The amplifier is AB class, 140W plus 140W, but if you turn on the class A turbo switch, it will automatically switch between pure A class at normal volume and AB class at high volume. However, when you turn it on class A turbo, it generates a lot of heat and gets scary hot, so I think it's safer to use it at 0 FF. The remote control included is a big feature, and it's really convenient to be able to control selection, tuning, volume, and muting with the remote control. AV is meaningless without a remote control. The sound quality cannot be treated as the same as a separate amplifier or a high-end integrated amplifier, but to be honest, it was of higher quality than I expected. I don't think AV needs anything more luxurious than this. I've been satisfied with the low-cost Victor A G91V for a long time.